Good morning, students. Students, as you know, we are discussing the chapter electrochemistry. And I told you that in electrochemistry, there is a relationship between the electrical and the chemical energy. And the electrochemical cell can either be the electrolytic cell or a galvanic cell. In electrolytic cell, in our previous lecture, we discussed with you the process of electrolysis and what products are obtained at the electrode during the process of electrolysis. Am I clear? Now today, we start our discussion with the law which is called as a Faraday's law of electrolysis. In fact, student, Faraday presented the two laws and this is Faraday's first law and the Faraday's second law of electrolysis. So first of all, we will be discussing with you the Faraday's first law of electrolysis. Faraday's first law. What is this Faraday's first law of electrolysis? Faraday's first law of electrolysis. What is the Faraday's first law of electrolysis? Now, according to the Faraday's first law, the amount of substance during electrolysis, of course, deposited on the electrode is directly proportional to the coulombs of a charge passed through the molten or the electrolytic solution in the electrolytic cell. Am I clear? So what does the Faraday's first law says? The amount of substance deposited on the electrode during electrolysis is directly proportional to the coulombs of a charge passed through the molten electrolyte or the electrolytic solution. So what is this law? So according to this law, Faraday's first law of electrolysis, according to this law, the amount of substance, the amount of substance deposited on electrode amount of substance deposited on electrodes during electrolysis is directly proportional to is directly proportional to Coulombs of a charge passed proportional to Coulombs of charge passed through molten electrolyte, charge passed through molten electrolyte, passed through molten electrolyte or electrolytic solution or electrolytic solution through molten electrolyte or electrolytic solution. Am I clear? So what is the Faraday's first law? So according to this law, the amount of substance deposited on electrode during electrolysis is directly proportional to the coulombs of a charge passed through either the molten electrolyte or through electrolytic solution. Am I clear? Suppose we are carrying out the process of electrolysis, then on the electrode, the amount of substance deposited will be directly proportional to Q. What is this W? W is the amount of substance deposited. This is amount of substance deposited and Q will be the coulombs of a charge passed. Amount of substance deposited and Q over here will be the coulombs of charge passed, coulombs of a charge. Am I clear? Now what is one coulomb? It is the ampere current passed in one second. Am I clear or not? Students, we all know that uh, 
q will be equal to i into t that is the amount of substance deposited when one ampere current is passed for one second now this q is equal to i into t we all know fine if you put up this value over here what do we get so w will be proportional to current in ampere and time in second so i over here is ampere of current current in amperes am i clear t over here will be equal to time in second so we will say one coulomb of a charge is passed when one ampere current is passed for one second now if we remove this sign of proportionality what do we get w will be equal to z into i into t am i clear remember this formula this z is a constant and is called as a electrochemical equivalent this is called as electro chemical equivalent what do we call it as it is called as a electrochemical equivalent now when i is equal to 1 ampere and t is equal to 1 second t is equal to 1 second then w will be equal to z am i clear then in that condition w will be equal to z so z is an electrochemical equivalent which can be defined as the amount of substance deposited when one ampere current is passed for one second z this is an electrochemical equivalent it is an electrochemical equivalent it is defined as it is defined as the amount of substance deposited on electrode during the electrolysis when one ampere current is passed for one second it is defined as amount of substance amount of substance deposited on electrode during electrolysis amount of substance deposited on electrode when one ampere current is passed for one second is passed through electrolytic solution for one second through electrolytic solution for one second am i clear of course this happens during the process of electrolysis now student what is the charge on the electron 1.6 into 10 1.602 into 10 is to minus 19 what will be the charge on one mole of electron this will be 1.602 into 10 is to minus 19 into 6.02 into 10 is to power 23 and which will be equal to 1 faraday now charge on one mole of electron charge on one mole of electron one mole of electron this will be equal to 6.02 into 10 raised to power 23 into 1.6 into 10 raised to power minus 19 and this will be approximately equal to 96500 coulomb which is a 1 faraday 
so if i ask you what is 1 faraday it is a charge carried by 1 mole of electron and when 1 faraday of charge is passed through the electrolyte in electrolytic cell the amount of substance will be in equivalence of a substance so i'll say over here 96500 coulomb of a charge 96500 coulomb that means 1 faraday deposit the amount of substance equal to the equivalent mass of the substance deposit amount of substance equal to e e will be the equivalent mass of the substance which will be the equivalent mass of substance that is why it is called as that was called as electrochemical equivalent am i clear and this 96500 coulomb was 1 faraday now if you pass 1 faraday charge or if you pass a 1 coulomb charge it will deposit what amount of substance it will deposit the substance that will be e upon 96500 coulomb am i clear so 1 coulomb is when 1 ampere current was passed for 1 second and that was equal to z so z will be equal to e upon 96500 coulomb am i clear now if i say electrochemical equivalent is z1 and the amount of substance deposited will be e1 we may also say this way also if z1 so z1 will be equal to e1 upon 96500 coulomb this is electrochemical equivalent one similarly z2 this will be equal to e2 upon 96500 coulomb this will be 96500 coulomb fine so from here dividing this z1 upon z2 so z1 upon z2 dividing this is first this is second we get e1 upon e2 so we obtain this relationship z1 upon z2 will be equal to e1 upon e2 am i clear so remember this z1 upon z2 will be equal to e1 upon e2 or we may also write down this way one formula we may obtain over here if we put the value of z over here it will be e upon 96500 coulomb also remember this z will be equal to e upon 96500 coulomb into i into t and this will help us to solve the numerical problem based on the first law of electrolysis i'm sorry this is not z this will be w because w was equal to z into i into t so amount of substance deposited on electrode when the electricity is passed through the electrolytic through the electrolyte will be e upon 96500 into i into t what is e over here it is electro equivalent mass in fact equivalent mass i is the current in ampere time in second w is the amount of a substance deposited so what is the faraday's first law according to this law the amount of substance deposited on the electrode during electrolysis is directly proportional to the coulombs of charge passed through the molten electrolyte or electrolytic solution so amount of substance deposited will be directly proportional to the coulombs of a charge passed now if one ampere current is this q is an ampere current passed for a second so q will be equal to i into t this is one coulomb so w will be equal to i into t am i clear if we remove the sign of proportionality this w will be equal to z into i into t 
what will be this z called as it will be called as electrochemical equivalent now when i is 1 ampere and t is 1 second w will be equal to z so how do we define electrochemical equivalent it is the amount of substance deposited when 1 ampere current is passed for 1 second fine now electrochemical equivalent definition is clear now what is 1 faraday the charge carried by 1 mole of electron and the amount of substance deposited by 1 faraday of charge will be equal to E which is a equivalent mass of the substance. So, 96500 coulomb of a charge amount of substance will deposit how much this will be equal to E. So, 1 coulomb will deposit E upon 96500. So, Z will be equal to E upon 96500. Putting up this value over here W will be equal to E upon 96500 coulomb into I into T. I think the first law of Faraday's must be very very clear to you. Now after the first law student let us discuss the Faraday's second law. Faraday's second law. What does the Faraday's second law explain? According to this law if two or more electrolytic cell containing the electrolytes are connected in series then the amount of substance liberated at an electrode during electrolysis will be directly proportional to their equivalent masses fine or chemical equivalent mass of the electro substance so according to this law according to this law if two or more electrolytic cell if two or more electrolytic cells two or more electrolytic cells containing different electrolytes containing different electrolytes are connected in series are connected in a series if two or more electrolytic cell containing different electrolytes are connected in series then the amount of substance then the amount of substance deposited on the electrode then the amount of substance deposited on electrode deposited on electrode is directly proportional to the chemical equivalence of the substance is directly proportional to directly proportional to the chemical equivalent of the electrolyte to chemical equivalent of electrolyte directly proportional to the chemical equivalents of electrolyte directly proportional to the chemical equivalent of the electrolyte if suppose we have got the three electrolytic cell one containing a zinc salt other containing a copper or copper electrolyte how do we do this suppose this is first electrolytic cell fine and then we have a second electrolytic cell these two electrolytic cells are connected with each other how are they connected with each other there are two electrodes this is first and this is second and the electrode of this and the electrode of this 
yes these are connected in series like this suppose uh, this is a positive terminal this is negative this is positive am i clear over here or uh, now the amount of substance deposited on the electrode will be directly proportional to their equivalent mass how suppose here we take zinc sulfate solution and here we take the solution of copper sulfate now in this the amount of substance deposited w will be directly proportional to the equivalent mass of zinc am i clear here amount of substance deposited will be directly proportional to the equivalent mass of copper i think i shall be very clear so the mass of zinc deposited mass of zinc deposited to the mass of copper deposited to the mass of copper deposited to the mass of copper deposited this will be equal to equivalent mass of zinc to equivalent mass of copper to equivalent mass of copper so this will be a relationship so mass of zinc deposited to the mass of copper deposited will be equal to the equivalent mass of zinc to the equivalent mass of copper and this is a second law of faraday's i hope student this law must be very very clear to you in our next lecture we will discuss with you the applications of our faraday's law of electrolysis and we'll definitely try to solve some numerical problems also till then thank you